Good evening. I'm Ted Adler, Associate Director of the School of Art, Design, and Creative Industries and Area Head of Ceramics Media. I joined the faculty in 2005, and over these years, I've had the pleasure of teaching and working with some of the most talented people in our community. While I regret I can't be here tonight, I am thrilled to be part of this pivotal moment for our school. We are ushering in a new era of art and innovation at WSU. I would like to extend my personal gratitude to everyone in this room tonight. To our wonderful patrons, thank you for your generous support. We believe that in order to set a high bar for creative excellence, we must work in concert with our friends in the community. Thank you for giving us the moral and material support that we need to reach new heights. I'm indebted to the Art Design Advocates, our dedicated group of incredibly good-looking and generous individuals. I'm grateful that they share our vision to be the most innovative art school in Kansas and for their commitment to seeing it happen. To their fearless leader, Bill Gardner, thank you for your dedication to our school and to WSU. Bill has been an outstanding friend and collaborator, and we've been able to achieve great things in a short amount of time under his leadership. I'd like to give a special thanks to Bud and Tony Gates for co-chairing tonight's event. They are exemplary patrons of the arts, and they show their unflinching generosity again tonight. Thanks to support from all of you, we will be able to equip our ceramics program with four Blau kilns, three specialized high temperature kilns, and a gradient test kiln. Blau is an industry leader in 21st century kiln technology renowned for precision, efficiency, and durability. As the ADCI Associate Director, Professor of Ceramics Media, and as an artist, I am humbled and honored to share with you what these kilns will mean for our school. These new kilns are 85% more fuel efficient than the kilns they're replacing, and they will triple production. This acceleration will create a more responsive and experimental learning environment for our students. Keeping pace in the 21st century means cutting down on lag time, and these kilns will significantly do so. Blau kilns are computerized. Data from the kilns can be adjusted on site or remotely with an iPad to achieve consistent, high quality results. This precision control decreases the rate of loss, and it also allows students to understand the dynamics of what is happening inside of the kiln in real time. This knowledge is key to taking advantage of emerging opportunities in a rapidly evolving job field. Of these four kilns, the crown jewel is the gradient kiln. It allows students to set two different firing temperatures, one at each end. This allows for unprecedented materials research and creative experimentation. By being able to identify optimal firing temperatures in this way, students and faculty will be able to expand their research, foster entrepreneurship, and assist community partners in discovering new ways to create and build. These Blau kilns will open new doors for us. Experimentation and innovation are the gold standard of what we do in the arts. But most importantly, we are dedicating these kilns to our alumna and friend, Tanya Tandok. She was taken from us suddenly this summer and this loss has affected all of us deeply. Her time as a shocker was spent in Henry and Hall as a ceramics major. Tanya was my student, but that is a term that can only be applied loosely. The reality is I just happened to know things that she wanted to know. Tanya was a true learner in this way. She lived life with great passion. A fire burned bright within her and she shared her warmth with everyone she knew. That is why I feel it is so fitting to dedicate these kilns in her honor. We are creating a lasting legacy for Tanya on campus that not only commemorates her passion for clay, but that symbolizes the radiance and love she shared with us all. We are so proud to give our students the best while remembering the best. Thank you all truly, and may we all remember to live like Tanya.